You know how AI is everywhere these days, but actually building AI tools seems complicated. Well, what if you could create your own AI apps and automations without writing a single line of code? That's exactly what Vectorshift lets you do. My name is Daniel, and today we are checking out Vectorshift, a no-code platform that makes AI accessible to everyone, whether you're a total beginner or just want to build things faster. I will go over the core features that this tool offers and some new ones they've added recently. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's take a look at how it works. How it works. So Vectorshift is all about pipelines. Think of them as workflows made up of nodes. Nodes are like building blocks that you can drag and drop to create automation, connect AI models, and process data. And the best part about it all is that no coding is required. As soon as you log into your account, you get straight to the Pipelines tab and can start working right away. If I click on this new button here at the top or create new pipeline right in the middle of the screen, Vector Shift will take me to the pipeline creation page. And here's what I find really awesome about it, guys. Vector Shift offers multiple templates divided into categories, such as assistance, chatbots, productivity, and so on. For example, as you see here, I can choose a blog article generator template a chatbot template, search and knowledge base template, and more. These templates can save you a ton of time. But for the purposes of this video, I'll start from scratch. By the way, if you used Vector Shift before, you'll see everything looks different. They gave the whole builder screen a fresh new look to make it way easier to use. So you can think of a pipeline like a chain reaction. Everything flows from one end to the other, like in this template you see here. You start on the left side with an input, then things get processed in the middle, and finally you get your results on the right. All you have to do is connect the pieces together, tell it what to work with, and watch it do its thing. Ok, let's go back to our blank canvas, and let me show how exactly the whole process works. Let's say I want to build a chatbot that will answer user questions based on a certain knowledge base that I feed to it. First, we put down an input a box that catches the messages and questions that people send to this chatbot. Next, we add another node that looks through all our saved info to find helpful answers. Now, before we move on, let me show you how to save this data so you could add it to your workflow anytime. For this, you go back to your dashboard and choose the Files tab. Here, you can add any files with data that will be useful to you. Once you've added your file, go to the Knowledge tab here, you can create a new knowledge base. I'll give it a name. Let it be KB1. And there's something new they added here. If you want to, you can play with advanced settings, such as chunk size, chunk overlap, processing model, and more. I'll just hit Create, and now I can add documents to my knowledge base. As you can see, you can do that by adding files, integrations, or scrape URLs. And done. A new knowledge base is added. Let's go back to our pipeline. Here, in the knowledge base node, I can click on the drop down menu. And as you can see, our knowledge base shows up. So I can add it here. Then we connect that to an LLM node. As you can see, there's a good choice of them here. I'll pick OpenAI's ChatGPT. This way, the AI will create responses using the knowledge base we've got. And the last step is adding an output. At this step, our chatbot will send out the final answer to users. And boom! You have got yourself a working chatbot. And the great thing about it is that you didn't need to write any code at all. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. One of the first things you'll see is that every node now comes with a default name, like Input0, but you can rename it if you want. Another cool update is that each node shows its output fields clearly. For instance, the Input node has one output field, 
that's the text that the user types in. You can use this output in other nodes by typing double curly braces. And I'll show you how that works in a second. For example, if you want to connect the user's question to this node, you type double curly braces and the variable builder pops up. This tool helps you pick the right node and its output field. Here I'll choose this is an input and its text field. This new setup makes sure variables are always written the same way. Double curly braces, the node name, and then the output field. Once you have done this, the user's question is now properly sent to the LLM. And if I go to the AI node and type curly bracers there, you can see that I can choose between variables like chat memory, knowledge base, or input. And I really love that you can actually test your workflow out before deploying it. To do this, click this Run button at the top of the screen and type in a quick query and hit Run. If you did everything right, the response will pop up right away. One of the best things about the latest Vectorshift update is the upgraded system behind the scenes, which makes everything run way faster than before. And if you want to take this to the next level, you can turn it into a chatbot in just a few steps. Click Deploy Changes. Head over to the Export tab. And pick Chatbot. Name your bot. Tweak how it looks. And hit Export. Boom! Just like that. You have got yourself a smart AI-driven chat assistant ready to answer questions using your own data. Who is Vectorshift for? So, who is Vectorshift really for? Well, it's for pretty much anyone who wants to tap into the power of AI without getting bogged down by the technical stuff. Let me break it down for you. If you are a developer, Vectorshift is a game changer. It lets you prototype AI-powered tools and workflows in minutes, not days. Instead of spending hours coding, you can drag and drop nodes, connect pipelines, and test ideas instantly. It's like having a shortcut to building cool AI apps. If you are a business owner, this tool is a lifesaver too. Imagine creating custom AI solutions, like chatbots, automation, or data processors, without needing to hire a team of pros. Vectorshift puts the power of AI in your hands, so you can focus on growing your business instead of worrying about the tech. And if you are just someone who is simply curious about AI, Vectorshift is the perfect place to start experimenting. It's designed to be beginner-friendly, so you can play around with AI models, build fun projects, and learn how everything works. All without writing a single line of code. Final thoughts. Alright folks, so that's Vectorshift. As you can see, it makes AI super easy to use, whether you're a beginner, a business owner, or a developer looking to speed things up. The drag-and-drop workflow, ready-made templates, and fast performance make it a solid choice for anyone who wants to build AI-powered tools without coding. If you have ever wanted to experiment with AI but felt intimidated by all the technical stuff, now's your chance to try it out. Head over to Vectorshift, play around with it and see what you can create. Let me know in the comments what you think about it or if you have any questions. What kind of workflows would you use it for? As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.